What's up everybody, Tech Checker here, and I've got a short message to YouTube and YouTube content creators. Now I hope this message can get out beyond just my channel, because I think YouTube needs to hear constructive ideas on what content creators would like to see change on the platform. Now if you haven't heard of the YouTube adpocalypse, you're clearly stuck in the negative zone. For those of us not stuck in the negative zone, it's been quite tiresome to say the least. YouTube's reputation has been falling due to their lack of transparency. Video after video has been demonetized with little to no explanation. The issue with YouTube is transparency. Now, I'm not so deluded to think YouTube will hear my opinions, but I do have recommendations I think YouTube should implement to finally address some of the mistrust that is growing. Now this isn't a commentary on the political or social controversies that YouTube is also under fire for. I'll leave that to those with a little more knowledge to debate. I only want to address the transparency issues and how YouTube can fix these problems. Now my channel is quite small, but that really is irrelevant to this topic. I have over 15 years experience in information technology service support. I understand what goes into providing a service that is reliable and trusted by the users who utilize those services. I also understand how quickly and devastating bad service and lack of transparency can be to a service. And I see many of these mistakes being made by YouTube right now. Over the last 12 months, I've had several videos demonetized, be it temporarily or permanently. I am hardly alone experiencing demonetization. This doesn't have a big impact on me since my channel is so small, but for those with large channels, the loss of money while waiting for a manual review is becoming insurmountable for some. Now, if you're not familiar, YouTube has been tweaking their monetization algorithms and adding a new monetization classification. The new classification includes a yellow icon which indicates your video is currently receiving limited or no ads, which means you might not be receiving advertisement revenues while in this state. This means your video is either considered not suitable for most viewers or it doesn't meet the criteria for advertiser friendly content. YouTube, however, doesn't feel the need to inform you or give you specific details of what's in the video causing the issue. It has become clear YouTube does not find it necessary to keep content creators informed. Instead, these demonetization actions just happen. The only way to know what happened is by scrolling through your content to see the monetization status to find those that have changed. Now yes, <clears throat> Yes, there is a new view filter to only show demonetized content, but this really isn't enough. Now, I'm not going to explain the process to request a manual review in detail, but it's really just a simple single step process where you click the manual review link and then wait and hope while you watch the first critical 48 hours of your video being published just ticking away. Instead, Let's get into what I hope YouTube will do to address some of these transparency and trust complaints I and others have with the platform. First, we need notifications. As a creator, I need to know as soon as my video monetization status changes. I used to get the copyright violation emails, but I've yet to get a not notification when the monetization status changes. This shouldn't be hard to implement, Assuming the back-end software is written efficiently, notifications can be as simple as an email, an alert in the notifications, or a new dashboard widget displaying alerts. And this change alone would provide an immense amount of transparency and give creators control of their channels. There have been numerous cases in which videos published years ago end up demonetized without a notification. A content creator must constantly check their content to ensure all videos are green. Now, a simple notification would go a long way to increasing trust and transparency between creators and YouTube. Second, content creators need details about these violations. Currently, 
We have the general definition of the status. Nothing more. How about you, YouTube, give us what category our video matched which warranted it being flagged. Your algorithmic system clearly has this information or it couldn't flag the videos. Output that info into the notification you provide. This too shouldn't be that difficult. As a creator, it would be invaluable to know what to look for in my video so I can make a decision whether I want to modify my video or not. This information would give creators actionable information to decide whether a manual review is truly warranted or not. This can save both the content creator and YouTube time and money. Third, give us the timestamp where the violation is. Assuming the processing is automated and algorithmic, YouTube should be able to store the timestamp and include this information in the notification. I shouldn't have to explain why this information is useful, but clearly I do. Finding the potential violation to determine if it's legit, right now, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, except you don't know if it's a needle, a joke, a political reference, or some other arbitrary thing. We have no idea what we're looking for or where it is in the video, and your software is already scanning through the video. Storing the timestamp when a match is found should not be out of reach technologically. Fourth, don't assess strikes against channels for content that was once compliant and now is not. YouTube, you have every right to change your policies and recertify older content to the new rules, but it's entirely unfair and I would claim unethical to assess a channel strike after a video had originally been compliant. You're punishing channels for having content on your platform that no longer follows the guidelines? Fifth, and likely the most difficult, is that YouTube provide more option supports for creators of all sizes. I think a tiered system in which major channel creators would have a more direct and faster access to support services, while the smaller channels might have to wait a little longer, but if it's clearly defined and easy to submit a support request and get a response, that would tone down the unrest considerably. As a creator, when you've worked on a video for a month, all to find the video is not monetized and you have no recourse but a link to click and hope, that just doesn't set a precedent of trust in YouTube. Now I'm not trying to complain or disparage you, YouTube. I just want you to treat content creators with a little more respect. When there are communication and transparency issues like this, I see it as a culture of arrogance driving a wedge between YouTube and content creators. Trust can be lost very quickly and it's so hard to gain it back. YouTube, you've been working to improve. I've seen those attempts through your various surveys you've put out over the last year. I applaud the efforts, but for how large you are, a lot of us expect so much more. We expect to see innovation, and of all the companies to solve this growing problem, it should be YouTube that can solve it. But perhaps the solution isn't going to come from your own staff. Perhaps the solution will come from your creators. Listen to your creators. Please listen to us. If you think these are good ideas, I ask that you share this video with as many other content creators as you can. Clearly, these five points won't solve all the issues we may have, but if you think these changes would help, please do share. My channel is small, but your channel might be large. And the more this message is shared, the more likely this message will reach others with influence and change may occur. I thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.